Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at StampAbove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are live tonight for a fabulous class. I'm so excited to be here. I'm going to get my live up on my iPad. Oh, I see everybody popping in now. Hi Linda. Welcome. Let's get this rolling so I can see what is going on. Perfect. Hang on just a second. Oh, goodness. So, Christmas this week, right? How did that happen? <laughs> I know all you guys are probably ready, right? <laughs> Me, not so much. But if you saw my Facebook post, Steve has been working like a dog wrapping all the presents. He started doing that last year, I think, for me because I was kind of in a, you know, I was in a dither with so much to do. Oh, well, I forgot to grab my other glasses and I can't really read my comments very well with these. So maybe I'll just stay back here and then it'll work. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, Steve's been Rapping like a madman, and you know, as the more boxes get delivered to the front porch, he's like, Is there more stuff to wrap? Yep, and there's more coming, pal. <laughs> I'm headed out tomorrow to go grocery shopping. I'm gonna have lunch with a friend, and um, not grocery shopping, Christmas shopping. Oh, heavens, I'm not going grocery shopping. We did that, we got all the goodies and supplies for cookies and candy. Mm. And I have to ask you guys, somebody's going to answer, somebody's going to have an answer for me. So I made my caramels and I've never not had them turn out. And while they turned out, they seem to be a lot thinner on the same pan that I always use. I like them to be a little bit thicker. And there's little brown bits in them like I burned it, but I didn't. It doesn't taste burned. Does anybody know why that happened? We've been just scooping it off the cookie sheet and eating it so far. <laughs> It's very good. It does not taste burned. But that was the only thing I had that didn't turn out. I made toffee. I made peanut blossoms, you know, with the little peanut butter cookies with the little kiss, Hershey kiss in the middle. I made um, double batch of Christmas cookies. Um, I Oh, did I say toffee? I still have to do the bugles. So Jackie was mentioning um, when I was posted about Steve and his injuries from wrapping presents, you know, the paper cuts, the aching back, um, all those things, the fact that he felt like he might need to um, do a workers' comp claim. Yeah. Um, when I was posting about that, she said, well, at least he didn't have bugleitis, which is what he had last year and wanted to file a claim was um, dipping the bugles into the white chocolate. We love those at, we make those at Christmas time. They look like little Santa hats. Yeah. So he had bugleitis last year. <laughs> I know, right? It's always something. Getting old. That's right. And we have a Packer win. Yes, Lisa? I just turned the game off. Well, the game is over, but I was watching the after stuff, which I don't know why I do that, but... Um, it's always fun to see Aaron Rodgers chatting about the game, and he seems so excited, and he just beat Brett Favre's um, record for touchdowns in his Packer career, so that was exciting. I know I see I got lots of lots of um, hearts coming up. Yay, Green Bay Packers. Their next game is on Saturday, right on Christmas Day. Could you imagine? I don't know why they, well, I suppose it's entertainment, right? Um, but yeah, they're going to be playing again on Saturday, so we'll see what happens. They almost lost tonight. <laughs> yeah, so hmm. anyways. Um, <clears throat> so my frenzy's going to be on tomorrow to do all the running. I have to go to Shields and get some gift cards, and I have to go. I have it all in my phone, all the places I have to get to to pick up those last bit of things. You know, we have a fairly good sized family and I tend to go a little overboard because I love Christmas shopping. I love buying presents. I love giving presents. And so I tend to get a little carried away. And now that Steve is um, wrapping presents, he's pointing out that maybe I get too much. And I'm like, you stop and close your face. I do not want to hear about it. This is my fun. I 
love I love spoiling my friends and family with Christmas presents. So it's always cool. Anyways, um, what's happening? We have a John update. Um, John, Steve told me yesterday that he thought John's wife was gone, but found out that she actually wasn't. He thinks John must have cleaned out his garage because it was pretty much a mess. And now her car is parked in the garage instead of the driveway. So while we thought she was gone, well, I didn't think anything because I wasn't paying attention. But he said he thought she was gone, and now she is not gone. Her car is just in the garage. And Belinda is asking, how is my daughter doing? Oh, these messages go by so fast, you guys. Um, oh, Belinda says, how is your gorgeous granddaughter? She's growing up so fast. Oh my good Lord, she is so hysterical. She's just funny, funny, funny. And she is chattering away now. She knows who Santa is when she sees a picture. Where's Santa? There's Santa. And then what does Santa say? Ho, ho. <laughs> That's what she says. She's talking a lot. Um, gosh, what does she say when she says thank you? Tutu, like that. For Kitty, she says titi. <laughs> She's so cute. We're having so much fun. I can't hardly wait for Christmas. It's going to be an absolute blast. I'm just watching. Um, Kathy's making pocket cards like a crazy person. I love pocket cards, right? They're just, they're easy, but they're so cool. Yeah, so nice of John to do that for his wife. I agree. Um, yeah, so that's my John update. The other thing is Haley noticed, and I didn't notice this because I don't pay good attention to things. He doesn't have any Christmas decorations up, and usually he decorates. So that was a little different, right? Yeah. Anyways, I am decked out for Christmas. Check out these hysterical little earrings. Yeah, my little my little Santa Clauses, even little boots on there. Aren't they funny? I found them in a duffel bag. <laughs> I know. I knew I had some more Christmas. And then we got these at the dollar store. Just a little headband. Super cute and very comfortable. And then this is my crazy Christmas sweatshirt. Yeah, it's pretty big. So I must have been carrying a little bit more weight than I am right now. I feel like I'm kind of in a dress. But it's just a really cute shirt. So I have my white vest. I can put that on so I don't look like I have a muumuu -moo on. <laughs> right? So yes, I am festive. I am ready. I even put my red ring on. We are festive here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I told you all about my master rapper, right? And then that made me think of something that's kind of pretty funny, and I don't know if I should really say it, but it's all in good fun, right? So we used to go to North Dakota fishing every summer for a week. And um, we went with my, my mom and dad and all my brothers and their families. And we just had a whole caravan that drove from Wisconsin to Devil's Lake in North Dakota. And went fishing on Devil's Lake. And oh my gosh, just the best walleye fishing in the world right there. Anyways, me and my mom and my dad and my friend, Terry, always rode in my dad's boat. And <laughs> my dad always did the bait... Because um, I don't mind touching minnows. Hang on, I'm scrolling up. I don't mind touching minnows or worms for that matter. But leeches, that's where I kind of draw a line. Like, ooh, yuck. So my dad, would we, we you fish with leeches there. So he would always put them on all of our hooks. So we crowned him the master, right, of the bait thing. And so then we called him the master baiter. You guys put that together. And we would laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> I know, a little inappropriate, right? But it was funny. That's all that matters. Anyways. Um, yeah, we had Val and Molly here. Uh, Val came over for breakfast Saturday morning with Haley. And then Molly's been here all weekend. And today she woke up sick. So... She's um, not feeling good. She's got a sore throat and a headache. So I've been feeding her some drugs and um, we had chicken noodle soup together and we said we'd just keep her overnight again and if she can't go to school tomorrow, we'll keep her home from school. But yeah, poor Molly, right? Hope whatever she's got, it's a quickie so that she, gosh, we're talking about the baiting thing and now quickies. <laughs> I, I just hope she's feeling better tomorrow. <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> I need to stop now before I get in trouble. Okay, so um, <laughs> Haley's getting around a little better. I told you guys that she um, she fell and tore her ACL, and so she's getting around a little bit better with her knee. The baby is growing like crazy. She had an appointment. He is bigger than Val was at this stage, so this baby's going to be bigger than Val was, so that's interesting, right? And last week, I told you guys that they had put an offer in on a house, and they didn't get it. We didn't think they would, because houses are going for so much more than what the prices on them around here and I think kind of all over the country but anyways it's like oh I hope they find something because some of the houses they've looked at have been just perfect for them uh, but they're very very strict about staying on their price point they're not going to go over because they don't want to be living for a house and that's something that I've kind of always instilled like I live in this old house and you know, yeah, we could have gotten a much nicer house, but I wanted to have a life. I didn't want to be house poor. And so um, that's something that they're being very careful about, which I'm very happy because I want them to have a life too, right? Okay. Um, oh, and then I have an update on my Explorer. When we were driving out to Wyoming, a piece of it flew off on the freeway in case you missed that. Um, it's the piece like here's the windshield and then here's the side windows. There's a piece that goes right here. It's not molding. It's like part of the vehicle in between the side window and the windshield. It just flew off. So I went into the Ford dealership because I told you guys they had some splaining to do, right? I <laughs> go into the dealership and I'm like, yeah, this flew off going down the road on the freeway. And he's like, well you know, you're 30,000 miles over your warranty. So um, the explaining that he did was he explained how I'm going to pay over $200 to have that piece put back on my Explorer. I wasn't very happy and I told him with kind of an attitude, I said, you know, I am 56 years old and I have been driving most of my life and I have never, no matter how old, had a piece of my vehicle fly off driving down the road. Do you think there's a problem there? I was not happy. Anyways, happy or not, I'll be paying 200 plus dollars to get that fixed. <laughs> yeah, so, and I know somebody else said their daughter had the same thing, the same part on their Explorer and I told him that. I said, so obviously there's a problem. He goes, well, there's no recall for it. Whatever. We have a 2004 Ford F-150. No parts have flown off of that. None. <laughs> Anyhow, enough whining about that. Um, anybody needs the new catalogs? We have brand new catalogs coming out. What? This one. And celebration, which, oh, that's buried in here someplace. Here's my celebration. Yay. Uh, brand new catalogs coming out. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business and I would be very happy to send you the new catalogs. You have to email me at kelly at a stampabove.com. Kelly at a stampabove.com. That's right, Kelly, K E L O Y. And oh, Deborah's saying call forward. Maybe I should. You know, I can get kind of cranky. I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm pretty stubborn. <laughs> And I and I feel like I'm wrong. I'm this is wrong, right? So when I feel like I've been wronged, I tend to push a little harder. Like one time our washing machine broke like one month out of the warranty and it was a Maytag. First time I've ever bought something, you know, I usually buy middle of the road, right? Because we're not we we don't have a lot of money. We're not rich. Um, but I bought a Maytag, like I spent the extra money and bought a Maytag and one month out of the warranty it broke. And I called the company, <laughs> make noise, Judy says, I called the company and I was so like, are you kidding me? You guys talk about how your Maytag repairman is, is so lonely. I bet she's exhausted if this is the way your products work. <laughs> I was just so not having it. And they covered it. Maybe I need to call for it. Maybe I will do that. Stand up for yourself. Oh, Betty, you don't need to worry about that. I'm kind of the queen of that whole thing. 
<laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of things that'll run me over. Um, did you guys know that about me? <laughs> it can be kind of feisty. Anyways, um, uh, new kit class, party puffins. Oh my gosh, we're going to make a card tonight with the party puffins. So adorable. I'll tell you all about the kit class when we get to it. Um, so fun. This is my December kit class, so we'll get into that. Also, Dina Barb and I are hosting a catalog kickoff. Uh, this is a catalog kickoff party for the new spring mini catalog. Ah, we are going to be, um, this is going to last two weeks. It's open to everyone worldwide, no matter whether you live in the United States or outside the United States. You can still join our catalog kickoff. If you are a member of the Stamp Happy Academy, it's included. If you are on my team and you have a membership in the Stamp Happy Academy for free for being a team member, it's included. So please don't pay for it. We're not doling out a bunch of refunds if anybody does that. So don't, don't do it. <laughs> but it's $10 if you don't have a membership. Um, you can, I had somebody email me tonight and ask if they could join, if they were a demonstrator not on one of our teams. Absolutely, we have tons of demonstrators that join us for our retreats and our catalog kickoffs. So um, you're going to have tons of new catalog inspiration over a two week period. Um, there's gonna be three live events, card challenges, mystery stamping, prizes, a free gift for all attendees. There'll be a sample gallery with tons of card ideas from the new catalog using product from the new catalog. Games, so much fun. The post will start up in a Facebook group on January 4th, so that's cool. And the complete schedule of events will be posted later this month. So starts up January 4th, $10 free if you're a Stamp Happy Academy member. And if you don't know what that is, head over to stamphappyacademy.ning com. Check it out. It's a membership for stampers and it's so much fun. Which leads me to my next thing. I am doing um, a premium membership in Stamp Happy Academy includes three live classes each month and I'm doing mine on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central Time. I was just working on uh, my layouts for that and what, what we do is we, we create three different layouts and we make three different cards for each one of those layouts. So um, and there's three classes every month like that with all different layouts. It's just so much fun. I always enjoy the challenge of coming up with these cards. So that's cool. Okay. Um, don't forget, sharing is caring. Please click on that share button. It is on your screen on your device someplace right now. And that really helps me grow my business. And I so appreciate you sharing this to Facebook. Also, give me a thumbs up. Click on that like button, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube. You can also click on the share button on YouTube. And um, I have prizes to award. I think that, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. That's the party puffins. We're going to talk about that. I also have cards and bingo. Registration for that is open. It's $35 to play. Um, depending on how many people register, Last time I gave away gift certificates for four different gift certificates of $50, $75, $100, and $150. What? Plus, it includes a pre-cut cardstock pack for five different cards that I will demonstrate on December 29th, Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. Thank goodness I wrote that down. And I just looked it up because I can't remember anything. Um, 7 p.m. Central Time on the 29th, a great thing to do after your Christmas rush craziness is over with is to treat yourself to a uh, cards and bingo. It's a card class with a little bingo thrown in between. We are going to be using the Art in Bloom bundle, the Friends Are Like Seashells bundle, and the Right Behind You stamp set. Also, you'll have the opportunity to add any of those on and the Seashells 3D embossing folder. You will get a quarter pack of the Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper. That's new in the Celebration Catalog. A pack of in-color jewels, a roll of fine art ribbon, and envelopes to go with your five cards. What? Yeah, it's so much fun. I hope you guys will give it a try. 
Um, then the other thing I wanted to remind you of is the Borders in Bloom. That is the online class that I do with Dina and Barb. That is also available. And can I just say the cards are amazing. There's several different fun folds in this class. They're so bright and colorful and pretty. You're going to love them. You have option number one includes all the things. The basic border dies, the in bloom stamp set, the pierced bloom dies, um, pattern party designer series paper, playful pets ribbon, po -po -po, and black matte dots for $130. Includes shipping. You get the online class for free with the pre-cut cardstock pack to make nine cards. Or you can do option number two if you already have the dies and the stamp set. Option number two includes the designer paper the ribbon and the black matte dots for $45. Um, or you can get just the PDF. If you're not in the United States, if you're outside the United States, I can't send you product, but you can order the PDF for nine different cards using that bundle with the border dies. It's called Borders and Bloom. Now, you'll find all of my online classes that I've just talked about, as well as the catalog kickoff and bingo on my Facebook page when you just scroll down a stamp above dash your creative coach or you can go to my blog www.astampabove.com and you'll find my blog look for the online classes in the right hand column or at the bottom of every one of my posts there's also a link Whoo! take a breath huh <laughs> yeah I'll be glad when I can switch this camera around oh my mom is on she says hi honey that's my mom Karen Flynn Hi, Mom. I was going to call you today, and then Molly needed to get fed, and then I, you know, you know how things go. Yeah. So maybe I'll call you in the morning. Um, but I'm happy to see you here tonight. Yay. My mom tunes in every once in a while. My mother is a painter. She paints beautiful things, and she's really into rose mulling. Yesterday, my sister sent me a picture of a platter of Christmas cookout cups. This is cutout cookies. And my mom rose mauled on the frosting. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So pretty. So hang on, I got something weird on my screen here. It says activate my stars, and I don't want to do that. So go away. Oh, it tells me to buy. I don't want to. Okay, so I don't know what that is. I'll just leave it alone before I mess things up. Let me grab the prizes. So I told you guys that I really love Christmas and I love getting Christmas presents for people. I also love to give stuff away. So I'm going to be very, very generous tonight in the gifts because, you know, it is the week of Christmas, right? Yeah. So for commenting on my last Facebook Live when I was in Wyoming, I have the winner. So please make sure you leave a comment here. Everybody that comments gets entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. So let me move my thing up here because I can't. Things are happening on my screen that are weird. I don't know what those stars are and I hate them. Judy's mom is, Judy's saying hi to my mom. I'm like, Judy, is your mom on here? <laughs> Judy said, hi, mom. Okay, so for making a comment last time, I do a drawing. So make sure you comment no matter what you say. It, it'll count. Um, unless you say something mean and then it won't. No, I'm just kidding. You got Stampers are the nicest people. We have the Fine Art Floral Kit Class, okay? This is eight cards, all pre-cut, ready to rock. Also, the gold glitter enamel dots and the gold Fine Art Ribbon with this class. Also, the winner of this will get the PDF file so that they know what to do. And the PDF files have written instructions, photographs, and um, video tutorials for each one of the cards in this class. So, Jan Karstensen of Tomahawk, Wisconsin, you are the big winner of the Fine Art Floral Kit class. Yay! I have, I have um, emails ready to go out to these people with the PDF file in them as soon as we're done too. So next up, we have another kit. This is the garden, whoops, let me put this down. The garden wishes kit class. And it comes with the dandy garden memories and more cards and envelope pack. Holy cow, right? And the 
Memories and More uh, Dandy Garden Memories and More card pack. Holy cow. And Ribbon. This is what we use to make the cards in the class. And one more thing. I think we have some ladybugs. So we got some little ladybug trinkets in here. Also, the PDF file will be coming your way. This is for sharing my video last week. And this prize is going to Barbara Beck of Appleton, Wisconsin. Barbara, coming your way. I was just chatting with Barbara um, tonight in email. So I hope she's watching because that's always exciting, right? And that was for sharing this video. So make sure you do all the things. Share, give me a thumbs up, like it, and comment. Also, out on Facebook, or I mean, we're on Facebook, out on YouTube, do the same thing. Hit that thumbs up button. Give me a like for these videos. That helps me in the analytics on YouTube. Click on that share button and share the video. Ooh, leave a comment so you get entered. Where are my glasses? I'm sorry. Um, I don't have my other glasses handy right here. And these are my glasses I usually wear. And I can't read what's happening on my screen. So that's why I took them off. Anyways, I know that's really throwing people, right? <laughs> Next up, for placing an order within the last week in my online store, I am giving away the Freezin Fun Bundle. This is a adorable little stamp set. And also the Freezin Friend Dies. And I have an online class that I will be sending the PDF file to Susan Trice of Clinton Township, Michigan. Congratulations! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. To be mailing out these really big prizes, right? So, yay. Okay, um, then, because I can't ship product out of the United States, it's against the rules, okay? I would like to reward my international viewers because you guys, I can never send you stuff, so I always feel kind of bad about that. If you are international and you are watching my Facebook Live, whether it's here or on YouTube, by Wednesday, December 22nd, pop me an email, kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. And just tell me what country you're from. And I will do a drawing and I will give away one of my online class PDF files to one of you in my international viewers. Merry Christmas! Oh my gosh, I love giving stuff away. <laughs> I know, I feel like Santa, right? Yeah. Okay, I think that was all I needed to talk to you about. Now, I have a gazillion cards to share with you guys. And I mean a gazillion, okay? there are These are just gorgeous, gorgeous cards. I also have gifts. Oh, I need to get these out. Oh, just hang on. I always put my cards right in here. I also have gifts to share with you that I have received over the last couple weeks. Last time, um, hang on. Last time I was on, I was in Sheridan, Wyoming, so I wasn't able to share my mail with you. So when we're done stamping tonight, I will share a reasonable amount of mail with you. And the next time I'm on, I'll share more, okay? Because I think it'll probably take too long. Because I am so blessed with all this mail. I can't even tell you. It's so fun. So for those of you that sent me cards or gifts, thank you so much. We will be showing them. Okay, are we ready? I think we're ready to stamp. And I think, I'm looking down here. I think I'll start with the party puffins because then I can tell you about the kit class. And then we're gonna play with shaving cream because I had a blog hop last week that used shaving cream in a new and interesting way. So we're gonna play with some shaving cream in a different way so that you guys know all things shaving cream and stamping. And it's so crazy that you use shaving cream to stamp with, right? It's just insane, but it's so very cool and a unique. Okay. I'm going to flip my camera around, stick with me here, and then I will be able to see better your comments because they're going to be on my iPad. I'm a little closer to my table tonight because my, um, my stand is kind of falling down. 
like it won't stay up and I'm not strong enough. As I, I notice as my, I have rheumatoid arthritis, but I take hydroxychloroquine medication to um, keep it under control. So I don't have any problems. But one of the things that I do notice is that my hands are weak. Like I have a hard time opening things or tightening things. I just don't have the strength there anymore, which is very frustrating. But it could be way worse, right? I'm just grateful that I don't walk like a penguin anymore because that's what was happening to me, you guys. I was walking like a penguin because my feet hurt and my everything hurt. So I'm grateful for the medication. I'm glad it works. And uh, yes, Lynn says, I guess I need to get some shaving cream. Oh yes, you will want shaving cream, guarantee it. And if you need to run to the store tonight, they have it at any of your dollar stores and even the gas station probably. So I know how it goes because you might just feel the need to stamp with shaving cream tonight. <laughs> I can so relate to that. Okay, so this is my kit class for the month of December and I just released it, I think yesterday. The registration is on my blog. This is my blog right here. So if you go there, you can find all things Kelly and stamping. This is my current host code. If you place an order with me, I always appreciate your order. Um, please use this host code if it's under $150. Now, if you're, if, oh, and, oh, I almost forgot. I have a card kit right now, between now and the end of December, when you place a $100 order, you're going to get a card kit from me free, but you have to use this host code, okay? If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some stamper rewards from Stampin' Up, and I definitely want you to have those. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm just looking. Oh, Cynthia says she loved my blog and the shaving cream. Thank you. It was really fun. I, I have a lot of fun doing all those blog posts. All right, here we go. Oh, you know what? I don't have all my lights on. That's why it's kind of dark. Gosh, I was like working in the dark today. This is my kit class for December. Party Puffins, super fun, fun little characters. I love this stamp set. And the spiral die is like a tie-dyed background stamp. This is one of our big, whoops, one of our big background stamps. And included with the kit. Now you could if you have these already, you're good to go. But if you don't have them, you have the opportunity to add that on with your kit. So just so you you understand that. So those are add-ons. You're going to get 48 sheets of this beautiful pattern party designer series paper. So many different options in here. One side is colored, the other one is black and white and oh, I love me some black and white designer paper. You're also going to get a pack of rhinestone basic jewels. A pack, this is a combo pack of mini and regular size black Stampin' Dimensionals. A package of daubers, so there's some cards in this kit that use daubers in a fun technique. You're going to get eight of our very high quality, beautiful basic white envelopes. And the designs for four different cards, you make two of each for a total of eight cards in the kit. The kit, without the add-ons is $49.50. That includes all tax and shipping directly to you with the pre-cut card stack pack. You can add on the Puffins stamp set for $24 and the Spiral die stamp set for $21. And those are all options when you register. You just say whether you want to add on. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's get this party started. I'm going to grab one of my piercing mats this is a piercing mat. Um, oh, Denise says she just bought some shaving cream for cleaning the bathtub. Then I saw your video about using it for stamping. <laughs> oh, card making first, she says. Good for you. That makes my heart happy. Okay, how can I get rid of the Time's Up flag? Can somebody help her with that? I'm not really sure. I've never had that happen before. I sent out and came back on no different. Must be our internet. Oh, if your internet's running slow, yeah, I'm really sorry. Sometimes that's a mess. This is our piercing mat. You can buy this in my online store. And by the way, you'll find my online store when you go to my blog. 
I just put a piece of printer weight paper on it and tape it on the back. And this is what I use for my stamping surface. It's a hard like foam mat. So um, it, there's not too much give to it, but it's just the amount, right amount. When you have bigger, especially the photopolymer or clear rubber stamps, this is the best surface for you to use. If you try to use those stamps, big ones especially, on a hard surface, the image doesn't come out right. So yeah, okay. Let me get a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got, you know what I've got. I've got my strawberry lemonade. That's what I'm always drinking. Uh-huh. And I'm hoping it will jack up my um, metabolism. It's a, it's a calorie reducer, so it's got caffeine in it. I hope it'll jack up my metabolism because I may be making a pig of myself with all the cookies and candy because they are... I'm a really good cookie and candy maker. <laughs> oh my good Lord. I have been eating like crazy. There's always after Christmas, right? I'm wondering why this is here. Oh, this goes, this goes with the class too. You get the black and white gingham ribbon. Holy cow. I'm like, why is that sitting there? All of this stuff. Well, not these. All of this stuff with eight cards pre-cut for $49.50. So there we go. Okay. Here comes our cute cute, cute little card. So let me bring out all the bits and pieces. So first of all, let's get our envelope. This is the pattern party designer paper, and I'm going to use this particular pattern. So I am going to, oh, Sherry says, press the directional arrow and it will slide away. Thank you so much. That is so nice. <gasps> Bonnie's got hot cocoa with whipped cream. Bonnie, I have to tell you, Steve and I went grocery shopping the other day and bought, you know, like a million pounds of butter for um, candy and cookies. By the way, this DSP is two and a half by six, and I'm just put some glue on my envelope flap so I can make a pretty envelope to go with my card. Ugh, I got glue on here. I hate getting glue on my scissors. Um... So, oh, I forgot to tell you guys about my jeans. Can I get my knee up here? Let's see. Uh, hang on. This is, this is, oh, look at that. Look at my knee. <gasps> Most people buy their jeans like that. I did not. These are my good boyfriend cut Maurice's jeans, and I've been wearing them for like 10 or 15 years. I don't even know. This morning, the knee blew out. <gasps> I was so distraught. Like, I have two pairs of these, and they're like the jeans I wear 90% of the time. <laughs> I was so sad. And Steve's like, well, now you'll be trendy. I'm like, no, I have jeans with holes in them. I did not want these to be those. So I'm pretty disgusted. Anyways, so that was my little, yeah. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so we've got our envelope ready to go. Now... We're gonna be using, oh, we only needed one piece of this. That's why I was like, what? One piece of basic white, four by five and a quarter. Char says you're styling now. Char, I can totally style anytime. I got lots of ripped up jeans. These were not supposed to be that. <laughs> so mad. <clears throat> so this is our inside layer. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have, let's see, I've got two, four, six, eight, nine. I need to grab some more paper. Hang on. I just happen to have a whole huge pack of it here. If I can, if I can get into it. <clears throat> grab another piece of this. I need just a, another little piece for the inside. So I'm going to cut. Uh, let's just do three eighths. Okay, this is a bit, I'm going to put that up there so I don't get it mixed up. All right, <clears throat> so we have this piece. What we're going to do with this is we're going to put designer paper down the side here. And I think I'm just going to trim that off about mm, right here. So it's a little bit less than five and a quarter. Yep, just like that. We're going to take our Memento Black ink. Hazel, chocolate hazelnut tea for Susan tonight. Wow. Kelly, where is that DSP? Oh my gosh, Nancy, I'm so glad that you're asking me that. Let me find my catalog. 
It is in the back. Let me show it to you. Move that out of the way. This is <clears throat> one of the host rewards in the back. So you don't have to have a party to get our host rewards, but if you save up your orders and put in a $150 order, you can choose any of these items on page 170 and 171 at a very deep discount. So like, for example, this stamp set would have a $22 value. It's only $13. This paper, you get 48 12 by 12 sheets of this. It has a $30 value and you only have to pay $18, but you have to use your stamp and rewards. So when you have an order over $150 or you have a party that has sales of over $150, you get rewards. And at $150, you get 10%. So that means you get $15 free. You can put your $15 towards this and pay the $3 balance. So that's what this is. It's called Pattern Party 12 by 12, and it's on page 171. Very glad that you asked that. Okay, so back to this. Back to our regularly scheduled program. We're going to put the You're the Best on our inside layer. So I want to just put this in here so I can kind of center my You're the Best here. <gasps> Perfect. So far, we're winning. Unsweetened iced tea. Pamela, I like unsweetened iced tea too, but I put stevia in it so it's sweetened. <laughs> That's what I order when I go to restaurants. Unsweetened iced tea or, well, you guys know, an old-fashioned. Which, by the way, I did go out for fish Friday night. Molly and Haley and Jared and Baby and Steve, we all went out for fish. And I did have a Southern Comfort Old Fashioned Sweet with olives. And I could have had another one, but didn't. Like, I wanted to. But I'm like, hmm, no, I got to go home and work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next. To someone who makes others so happy. Let's see if I can get this straight. Oh, my good Lord. I am on a roll. So we have that, and then we've got a little circle here, and let me see, how big is this circle? This circle is about one and five-eighths inches, and this is from the layering circles, and also a coordinating scallop in black. So we're gonna take our little puffin guy, isn't he the sweetest thing ever? Yeah, Nancy says she found it, and she had forgotten that that DSP was back there. I know, because we don't go that far back in the catalog, right? Crazy. We're gonna put this little puffin on here. Let me stand up so I can get them on this. So it's a tight fit here. See how I did. Oh my gosh, boom, mic drop. We are winning tonight. <laughs> you can tell I'm pretty impressed with myself, right? Okay, um, next up, we're gonna color a little bit on this little guy. So I've got, Real Red, Daffodil Delight, and Pumpkin Pie. These are all the dark Stampin' Blend markers. I love coloring with these because they are just, they're the best. No scribble lines. You don't look like a four-year-old when you're done coloring something. <laughs> I have kind of a problem with that. Oops, I see I missed a little spot there. You definitely want to use Memento ink when you're using the um, Stampin' Write markers. There we go, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, and Real Red. Okay, so we're gonna add this to this one. Yes, it is the first time. Who said that? Jennifer said it's the first time they've offered DSP as a host gift. It is, and I love it because I, I've used a ton of it. Of course, I love black and white, but then the color option on the other side is so like you can do so many different things with that, right? It just makes it so valuable. Okay, we're gonna take, ooh, let's use, let's do a little bit of trimming here. Let's hope I can get this right. Boom, and boom. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other end. Boom, and let's see if I can make this even. That's always tricky, isn't it? Oh, I think I did okay. <laughs> Whew. I'm not going to go winning on this one because it's not perfect, but if you want perfect, buy a Hallmark. I've got no time for all that nonsense, right? <laughs> okay. Deborah says she grabbed another pack of this paper with her last order. Yeah, I, I do almost every time. 
I shouldn't say every time, but frequently when I have the host benefits, I'll take some more of this paper. It's nice too. I've been giving it to my team members because when we have a team meeting, we do. I do a lot of door prizes. I do. I don't know. Usually fifteen or so door prizes, and I like to give it out to them because it's just so valuable. Okay, so this is what we have. I am going to. I thought I had black dimensionals. Did you guys see those anyplace? I know there. I have a full pack for the, oh, here they are, for the kit. But I don't want to use those because those are going to go to somebody in their kit. So I've got black dimensionals here. We're going to do this and this. And then we're also going to put some on the black, on the black of our <laughs> puffin on the back. Okay, so there's those two things. All right, our card base. I can't believe I didn't bring that in here yet. Our card is, Jennifer says there is more love in a handmade card. You got that right, Jennifer. That is 100% accurate. This is a card base of Coastal Cabana. And it is eight and a half by five and a half. And I just folded it in half. We're gonna put our inside in here. Now, whoops. We're gonna work on the front in just a second, and you guys are gonna love this. It's such a nifty idea. Here comes all these little pieces. These are 3 8 inches wide by four and three quarters. Hang on, I'm looking at, yep, four and three quarters. So you need nine of these. Nine of these little strips. And what we're gonna do is we are going to take our glue and we're gonna start this one right over here and just add a little bit of glue to each one of these this is pretty simple it might be just a tiny bit putsy but you know what as stampers I think we're used to that and when you see the end result it is worth it so I don't mind doing putsy stuff. Sometimes I'm in the mood for something quick and easy. And other times I want to color or, or fussy cut or do all the things, right? So it just depends on my mood. I started knitting socks. When we went to Wyoming, um, Dina and Barb and I went to a yarn store because Dina's a big knitter. And I crochet and knit. So I got some sock yarn and it's so pretty. You know, they suck you right in with all those pretty designs. <laughs> And so I started doing socks, but I've got them about this much and they, they suck. They don't look good at all. My socks suck. So I think I'm going to tear it out and start over, but I had to buy needles because I thought I'd work on it on our way home, which I didn't. And I have needles at home, but I can't find my yarn stuff. I think it's in the attic. I got to go up there. Anyways, I, um, I have needles for making socks, but I had to buy some and the lady bought me or sold me these 18 inch circular needles with the hoopy thing. Yeah, I don't know all the terms. And uh, they're way too big, like they're way too big. So it's been really tricky using them and I do know how to use them to make, you know, the round sock, but it sucks. <laughs> I'm just gonna be perfectly honest. So I think I'll probably end up, oh, I'm getting these a little crooked probably end up going in the attic and getting out my needles. Oh, I got these just a little bit off, you guys. I wish I could push that one over. But anyways, it's fine because it's homemade, right? And it's handmade and it's made with love. Here comes our puffin. Look at how cute he is. And here comes our sentiment. Hang on. There we go. We're going to just put that right over here. Good grief. And I think I'll just, oh, look at, I have three rhinestones left and I can get rid of this pack. And I get to open a new one. So let's do this and this and that. Ah! What do you guys think? Isn't that adorable? What a neat thing to do with the paper. Now, I have another one to show you. Hang on. Let me throw this stuff away. This uses a different pattern of the paper. 
granny apple green, this stripe instead of this stripe. Now, I wanted to show you how this stripe was accomplished because the paper that belongs to this is actually diagonal. Let's see if I can find one. <laughs> all the beautiful paper, all the beautiful paper. Oh, here's one. Okay, so this paper, the stripes are diagonal. So you're gonna take your piece, whoops, let's do it this way. You're gonna take your piece so that the stripes are going across like this and you're gonna cut your strips like that to make them up and down just like this. So that's just another neat thing. Or you could have them diagonal, that would be fine too. But that's how these were made. And here comes the inside. Isn't that just that little strip is just makes all the difference, doesn't it? And then, oops, let me move all this back out of the way. Here is the matching envelope. Isn't that just sweet? Yeah, this is gonna be so much fun to send out. To someone who makes others happy, you're the best. So, Party Puffins, all part of my online class with the spiral die, party puffins, and all these goodies. Will you add this on? But $49.50 with eight cards, video tutorials for each one, written instructions, dimensions so you can make more. Yeah, lots of good stuff there. So that is our party puffins. All right, who's ready for another card? Who's ready for shaving cream? <laughs> yeah, I am. Okay, let me get all this stuff put away. Take a drink. I'm gonna take a drink and I'm gonna get everything switched out. Okay, here comes my shaving cream fun. Ha! Let me get this out of the way. So, I got a lot of comments on YouTube about the shaving cream cards that I made the other day. And the really cool point that I took away from all those comments was that people were really impressed with how they always thought this was so messy or the last time they used it, it was so messy, but I made it look so not messy. And I didn't really think about it, but I did. <laughs> I did make it not messy. So I'm going to share that with you on how to keep things nice and clean. Um, I know a lot of, I know years ago when I used to do shaving cream, I used a square pan like you would cook in, right? And so you would do your shaving cream and you would wipe the edge, wipe your whatever you were taking the shaving cream out with or wipe your cardstock on the edge. And it just, it was just messy and it was all over and it was icky, but it was fun, still fun, still did it. So what I've got going on here you're gonna want some tissue. I recommend paper towel. So I've got some paper towel here and I need to pick out some ink colors. So let's try, how about some Calypso Coral with, uh, no, let's go with Highland Heather and Coastal Cabana. This is my one of my favorite color combinations. So this is the shaving cream, and the only thing that you need um, is that your shaving cream is a shaving cream, not a gel. The gel where you have to do this and then it foams up, that doesn't work. You need to get this cheap <laughs> shaving cream, okay? Kathy says she did it with three-year-olds. It was messy but fun. It is so much fun. So I'm going to just spray some shaving cream. Oh, we're going to do we're going to do this a little different today. So, I've got quite a bit here. And if you want to go back and watch my video, it's on my blog with the other shaving cream cards that I did, and you'll see how I used stencils with the shaving cream, which was really cool. Okay, so I'm just spreading this out. So, the thing that you need to do with the shaving cream, now see how I'm messy, but watch this. All gone. It's just gone. It's like magic. It's it, it doesn't make a big mess everywhere if you just keep wiping yourself off. Anyways, um, uh, where, where was I going? Um, oh, 
you want to make sure that your shaving cream is spread out far enough that it's going to handle your layer. So if your layer is only this big, then you only need shaving cream that will fit this. But if it's this big, you need quite a bit, right? So we are going to, oh, I got to get my palette knife out. Hang on. Oh, and I might as well. Okay. So here comes We've got these palette knives. They're nice. You don't you don't have to have them, but they they work nice in my craft room. I'm going to do some Coastal Cabana ink drops. These are our ink refills. And then I'm going to bring in Highland Heather. So you just figure out which colors you want. Um, there's actually a color lab that will you can say that you want to use Coastal Cabana, and it'll tell you what colors go good with it. And that color lab link is on my blog by the other shaving cream cards I did for the Totally Techniques blog hop. Okay, so here's all of our colors. Now you're gonna swirl this around. You don't wanna mix it up so much that you're adding two colors together to make some ugly color, right? You know, we've all been there. And I'm just gonna mix so we get that color swirling around. See how I pulled that color over here in this side that was looking kind of plain? There we go. Okay, ready for this? We're gonna take this piece and you're gonna push it into the shaving cream. And then we are going to pull it up. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to scrape it off on the edge of my plate. See that? Wipe it off. The nice part about shaving cream is it all cleans up so nice. And you just take it, wipe it off. It wipes right off your table. I do recommend, I, I did have um, my grid paper down here. Look at how beautiful that is. It's so pretty. Now, I can tell you that it's, it's damp. It feels damp. Hang on, let me wipe this off. There we go. Easy peasy. It feels damp. So I would set this aside and let it dry, you know, so that it doesn't feel damp. We don't want it to feel damp. Okay. Um, so that's Coastal Cabana and Gorgeous Scrape. Okay. And the other thing, let me grab my grid paper. I should have had that out here. I forgot about that. I don't, I don't use it that often. Things are falling. <laughs> Here we go. This grid paper, by the way, I think this is still in the catalog. You can buy this. These are huge packs of grid paper. I love this stuff. Okay, so the other thing that I showed in my um, video with the Totally Techniques blog hop is that you can take stencils and you can make really, really pretty patterns on your cardstock. So I've got a gift card here and I'm just going to grab some of my shaving cream. I've got my white layer under there. I'm going to hold on to this so it doesn't move and I'm going to, I don't have much purple in here. I can see that my paper, my thing is going to be very, very light. Oh, let's get our, our tissue, wipe this up. I'll take this and put it over here again. And watch this, wipes right off, clean, ready to roll. Here comes this. And there we have shaving cream technique in there. Now, this is super light, right? So let's try something here. I've never done this before, but I'm gonna pull this shaving cream back in here. And we're gonna add some more color to it. Wipe this off, clean. Let's get some more purple in here. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I think I might have that out of the way too much. Yeah, the grid paper is wonderful to keep on your desk. 
just going to add, I don't, this may be too much, but we'll see. It's all an experiment when you're using this. I just wanted some more color in here because it was so light, right? But you don't want to mix it up so much that, like I said, it turns all to the some weirdo color, right? Like, like red and blue make purple, I think. <laughs> I think that's right. Okay, here comes some more. Let's grab a different one of these. How about this stencil? We'll try this one. <clears throat> I'm going to just pick this up. This is a gift card, by the way. It's just a pizza gift card. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit darker. But the darker the colors you use. And again, wipe it off. Wipe your fingers and everything is clean and good to go. Like you're you're not messy all over the place, which I hate. I'll wipe this off. <gasps> that did turn out with more color in it, right? It's a little bit darker. But yeah, you just keep playing around with this. And you can do whatever you'd like with it. It's super fun. Kids have a blast with this. And you can see that, yeah, shaving cream. Well, what's the big deal if you get shaving cream all over? Like, who cares? It's not the end of the world. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? The darker the colors. I'm going to do one more as long as we're here because it's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm going to pull some of this. more color in here. Yeah, I should have put more purple in, right? There we go. Again, I'll wipe this off. And the shaving cream, like, it, like, absorbs into the paper towel so that we're all good. You can just wipe it off, wipe it off your stencils, and then when you're done doing the shaving cream technique, you smell good, too. <laughs> you smell kind of manly like shaving cream. Oops, let me wipe that off. So we have these really pretty, soft, subtle ideas. So I wanted to show you guys what I did with mine. And now this is a paper plate. I can take it and throw it right in the garbage. Or I could wipe it off with my paper towel and use it for different colors and make some different um, shaving cream palettes. That's a good way to put it. Okay. So what I did with my, let me show you these other cards. What I did with my other cards, these are the cards that I made for my blog hop. And I used the um, pattern, plenty of patterns or, oh gosh, I can never remember anything. It is called Plenty of Patterns. I was right, Plenty of Patterns Decorative Masks. These that I just pulled out and used for tonight were basic pattern decorative masks. We have another set of de decorative masks coming out in the new mini catalog. You are definitely going to want it. It's got some florals in it that are just amazing. So watch for that. And if you've like been like, oh, I don't know what to do with those. Now you know. We've got some great things here. So this was with the decorative mask from the basic pattern or plenty of plenty of patterns. Okay, that's what I used. And look at that. This was Flirty Flamingo and Mango Melody. Pretty, right? This one was um, either Bermuda Bay or Calypso Coral with Granny Apple Green. Cute. Here's the same color combination that we did, only I had more color in my, in my um, shaving cream. More like this has more color in it, but still not as vibrant as this. They turn out different every single time. So here's this one. And, oh, that was my envelope. And then here's some other patterns that are in those decorative masks that I also used with the same color combinations. This one turned out really light like those, but then I added more color. And aren't they fun? Yeah, so... What I wanted to show you tonight was how to not use a mask, but to dip your paper right in and wipe it off, right? And then what I 
decided to do with those, I said in my video that I would share what I was going to do with all these pieces that I had. Let me move these over. And we're going to make a card. So I have, this is the Sea Life dies here with the starfish or horsefish if you're Dina Rico. And <laughs> some corals, some little fish, and a big koi fish. We've got those. I'm going to be using Gorgeous Grape Ink. I've got the Silver and Clear Epoxy Essentials for my embellishments. My stamp set out here. Did I say Sunny Sentiments? This is the sentiment set that I use. Oh, I wonder why I have... I don't know why I have two in there. Huh. That's interesting because I don't think I need either one of these. <laughs> I think what I need is Flirty Flamingo. <laughs> Sorry about that. And also the tailor-made tag dies. So you get eight different tags in here and then the little whole things um, to put little... Uh, layers over the hole that are different color like library tags used to be yeah okay and then I also use the bright six by six designer series paper so let's hit this card I've got white thick eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter I've got an envelope I've got the brights designer series paper in the flirty flamingo that's two and a half by six I've got a four by five and a quarter flirty flamingo layer. I already die cut one of the tags from the tailored tags. It's this one, the biggest one. So I've got that done. And then I've got a little half inch strip of the designer series paper. Whoops. And then what I wanted to show you, what I did with all of these, oops, hang on, I'm trying to get them out. All of these layers that I had, all these layers, I took and I die cut out of them. So I decided that that would be kind of a really neat look for my dies is to die cut them out of the shaving cream paper. And I think that this particular stamp set, the Seascape with the Sea Life dies, is just a perfect stamp set to do this with. So let's make this card. Does anybody see my bone folder? Gosh, I lose that like a hundred times. Here we go. <laughs> I always, always lose my bone folder. Okay, so we're going to take this little layer here and we're going to add it to the inside of our card and we can do that right now and that's just going to be our decoration these are kind of all occasion cards and this is the flirty flamingo okay then we're going to do a little bit of stamping on here and we're going to use the thought you could use some sunny thoughts today so this is just kind of an all occasion stamp for an all occasion card Let's see if I can get this straight oh my good lord I am on a roll <laughs> okay and then we've got this and I'm gonna take this these are like um, underwater plants or I don't know what they're called can you tell we don't live by we don't live by water so I don't know all those things <laughs> I'm not an expert in the marine life or foliage or whatever you call it <laughs> okay we're gonna do some of that oh and um, we're going to get our envelope ready because you know how I'm kind of a little obsessed with something on your envelope and we'll just put this on here isn't that going to look pretty? And scissors. Okay, so what did you guys have for supper tonight? I want to hear about it because I haven't eaten yet. I had some soup. We had a, like a 3 o'clock bowl of soup with Molly because she was hungry. And Steve hasn't cooked all weekend. I made 
Texas French toast on Saturday with bacon when the kids came over. And then today I made cheesy scrambled eggs with toast for me and Molly. And then Steve came in and ate some. And then we had the chicken soup and I haven't really had anything else today. And if Bev is watching, she's yelling at me. This would make, um, Wendy says this would make cool fire flames and it would, that's a really good idea. Okay, so we've got that happening. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put, uh, I need some dimensionals. Hang on, let me find my little basket of goodness. My basket of all that is good and right in the world. <laughs> We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this tag. And Brussels sprouts. Charlotte had ham and Brussels sprouts and corn. That sounds delightful. We're going to put this tag right up here. Just like that. And then I'm going to grab this guy. We're going to grab those mini dimensionals. Now, you don't want a dimensional over here on his little chest part. This is a horsefish. Or, what did I call it the other day? A starfish. Or it's really a sea fish. Right? Yeah. Is that right? Gosh, I think so. Sea fish? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> this is going to go right over here. So since it's going to be on the tag, you don't want a dimensional underneath that chest part of your horse fish <laughs> or sea fish. But what I do want to do is I would like to cover, I want to cover up that hole in my tag. See how I covered up the hole? Because I'm not using it as a tag. I'm using it just like this. So I thought that was a pretty neat idea. This can be left just to, you know, flop around in the air. It's not going to hurt a thing. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab some of these die cut fish from our shaving cream layer. And we are going to add them to our card. And this, again, is in the Sea, sea Life dies that go with the Seascape. It's all, a, it's a bundle. Here comes some little fishies. Aren't they cute? And there's just a little bit of variegated color on them. Oh, Sandra used it to make a project with her granddaughter. That sounds really cool too. Okay, is that straight? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay, then we're going to bring this in. Here we go, and we need some embellishments before we're done. So we're gonna grab, these are the silver and clear epoxy essentials. And I thought the silver ones would just look really, really pretty on here. Let's see, we'll put one here. It's gonna really kind of pop on here. One right there, and maybe one right up there. Ah, here we go. So shaving cream die cuts, yeah. Cute, right? I have one more. Are you guys ready for one more? Yay! Okay, hang on. Let me set those over there. Oh, let's keep this little fish. You never know when you're going to need those little fish. All right. Oh, here. Let me bring that back. I forget that I have other things to show you. So, here is the one we just made. This is with the yellow and the flirty flamingo. Here comes the purple and the coastal cabana. Same card, just different different colors, right? Which one do you guys like the best? Flirty Flamingo, Coastal Cabana. This is the color that tells us God loves us. <laughs> okay, and I'll get the next card out because it is also going to be using some more of the shaving cream layers. And I have two cards to share with you. We're going to make one and I'll show you the other one. Okay, and here's our dimensions. So, uh, yes, please, yes, please. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Oh, I might, do I have to wash this? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, so here we go. Here comes our card layers. 
So we're gonna be using the purple. So what I did with the purple is I took and I cut this layer down to two by three and three quarters. And then I have a basic black layer that's just an eighth of an inch bigger. So two and an eighth by three and seven eighths. By the way, you guys, on my blog, or if you're watching this later on YouTube, I'm going to, there's going to be a link you can click on at the top right corner, maybe later in the video, that will take you right to the exact blog post for these projects. So you can find all the dimensions and all the ingredient lists and you'll know all the details. Okay, so here comes, oops, I'm, oh, here's this, I need this. Uh, four and a quarter by 11 thick white card base. And we're gonna just get that burnished good. And then this is four by five and a quarter Highland Heather. Then we've got our um, shaving cream with our black layer. And we can add these two together right away. Oh, you guys, I wanted to shout out to the people who like had all the tornadoes and all the things God darn it, my heart goes out to all of you. We had some super bad weather um, up north where my mom lives. Tornadoes came through there and took out houses and all kinds of all kinds of things. So I just wanted to shout out to everyone to say, you know, I hope everybody's safe. I don't think we lost any people um, here in Wisconsin, but I know they did in other places when they had those storms last weekend. So I'm just really sorry and my heart goes out to you. We were really lucky because, um, is this what I was going to do? No, I'm going to do this at the bottom. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's do this. I've just got a black strip that is five eighths of an inch wide. And I just wanted to layer it behind my little strip for the inside here because I thought if I just did this, it just doesn't have that big of an effect. But if I layered it on the black like I, I'm doing on the front, it would look nicer. Anyways, um, yeah, I have friends who like one of them completely lost her house to the tornado. They had two or three tornadoes in my mom's area when we had that crazy weather the other day. Isn't that pretty? That's just pretty. Okay, so we're gonna need, I'm gonna stamp, oh, here's my Highland Heather. This is when I needed this. I'm going to uh, use black. I haven't made this card yet, so that's why I'm like all over the place with, I don't really know what I wanna do. Nebraska had some tornadoes, but they're about 50 miles from Lois. That's good, right? Iowa lost people in their tornado. Yeah, I know they did. There was a lot of people that died, and um, it was it was horrible. Okay, we're going to do this. So I'm just going to set this here because I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm doing yet. <laughs> I haven't made this card yet, but I think I want to do my happy hello to you. And I think I can stamp that a little bit better. It's always hard to put black ink onto colored cardstock because the colored cardstock is a lot more porous than our white cardstock. So it tends to be just a teeny bit tricky. So we're gonna try that again. <laughs> That's why I didn't glue that down, right? You always got two sides to your paper. We're gonna do this. Oh, before I forget you guys, I will, I, I'm pretty sure I will not be live next Sunday because I that's much better. I'm going to be at my mom's house. We're going up on Christmas Eve and we're going to stay till Tuesday. So yay! I'm excited because Haley and Val are going to stay too. Okay, so we have this going on and then I wasn't really sure if I should do any of these little leafy things. I was thinking if I brought them in from the top, but I don't think I'm going to chance it. Okay, so let's get this Ooh, uh, yeah, mm, uh, let's put some black twine on it. Can you guys like envision hearing me getting all this stuff together and like designing cards when I'm talking to myself like in front of you so much? <laughs> it's rather amusing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so I just wrapped that around three times and we're going to cut it and tie a bow. This, by the way, is our essentials 
um, twine combo pack. I can't remember what it's called, but it's called Essentials Twine. Um, that's where the black is coming from. You get five different colors of Baker's Twine. I'm going to tie this in a knot so it doesn't loosen up on me because I really hate that. Five different colors of Baker's Twine in one pack with the Essentials. Okay. Yay! Yeah, so I'm going Christmas shopping tomorrow. I'm kind of excited because I haven't been Christmas shopping at all. I've been ordering stuff online, you know, but I haven't actually gone to the stores. And I'm really looking forward to going into some of our local stores and getting some unique um, things. Okay, there we go. Putzed with that enough, huh? I gotta find some pretty stuff for my girls. Here we go. Just keeping that pressed down so that I'll stick. Okay, then we're gonna put this on here. Oops. What if you stamped in black on the shaving cream cardstock, the seaweed? Oh, that's a really good idea. We can try that on one of our scraps. Who said that? Lisa. That's a really great idea. Okay. I don't want it to get too busy, though. That's why I kind of decided not to do anything. So, again, I took our shaving cream and die cut the fish out of it. And then I wanted it to be a little bit bolder. So, I took a black one. And we're going to offset this just a little bit on here. So... Let's put some glue. I should probably do glue on the black part. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what kind of a mess I can make with this. Just a little bit. Actually, I think the white layer is your better option to put the glue on because, just because, just, just know that I think I'm right about that and this is wrong. Because <laughs> when you offset, there's going to be some parts of the black Never mind. I just confused myself. I'm really good at that. Okay. Well, that worked out pretty good. Isn't that cool? So it just makes it a little bit bolder. And then, where are my little bitty black dimensionals? Did you guys see them here? They were here somewhere. So I don't know where they went. Oh, good grief. They're probably right in front of my face. Oh, no, here they are. <laughs> I was not wrong. So I'm going to grab, oops, black dimensionals. And I'm just putting them in the bigger areas on the fish. Oops, I pulled this one off of here. Let's see, do we have any? See how the white, you can't see through these because they're offset a little bit? So I can take a dimensional and throw it right on there because you can't see it. Well, you can. Never mind. <laughs> Scrap that idea. Ignore me. Here we go. And we're going to do this just like this. Yeah, I think you could stamp some of those. Gosh, I don't know if I want to, if I want to, chance it. Should we do it? Let's do it. We're going to stamp some of those. What did you call them? Reeds? Is that what you, I don't remember. The weeds. The seaweed. <laughs> How about that? Seaweed. Doesn't sound as dastardly, does it? We're going to use black. We may ruin this whole card if I mess this up. Not because it's a bad idea, but if I mess it up, it could be, you know, it, it's not going to be that funny. Have you guys ever seen me cry? You could shortly. I'm just kidding. Ready? I'm just going to do a little bit right there. Oh, that is such a great idea. I love that. See, you got to take a chance, right? Thank you so much for suggesting that. I think that turned out really nice. Okay, I have another card to share with you. 
We're not going to make it. I'm just going to show it to you. Let me get all this put away. Get my mess picked up here. Oh, we didn't do an envelope. We got to do an envelope. Hang on. Jumped the gun. So I've got my Highland Heather and this cute little fish that comes from that seascape stamp set. And I'm going to put a fish right there. And then another one right here. And another one right there. And another one right there. Isn't that cute? Look at how cute that is. Right? Stamp your envelopes. That little extra effort just makes a huge difference. Okay, there's that one. Here's what I did with the Mango Melody and the Flirty Flamingo Fish, right? I used the Label Me Lovely Punch and I spread out a black one, cut it in the middle and spread that out. I've got my Baker's Twine. Oh, we forgot our... Um, embellishments don't let me forget the embellishments I'm like notorious for that I'm so I get I, I'm just so excited about what I've made that I lose my half of my brain ah <laughs> oh, there we go gotta embellish love the embellish okay so here's the other card I again offset the fish with the black one behind it and I got some purple in there too. I don't know why, but it just happened to be on the layer. And I thought, ah, oh, we're going to roll with it. Did the same thing on the inside. And I used the Mango Melody for my envelope. I could do some fish on here too. Why wouldn't I, right? Let's try that. I've got Mango Melody. Oh, I just stuck my fingers all over that. Get this all cleaned off. And Mango Melody. Here we go. Even though we have the DSP layer on the flap, I still think that this is super cute. Just like that. Yeah, worth it. Totally worth it, right? Totally worth it. So, there we go. Ha! I love these. Okay, let me bring them back in. Get all the things out of the way. Let me just, just clear the plate. We're gonna clear the table, right? You guys should see the mess when I'm done. It's horrendous. Here comes our little fishies there with the shaving cream in the background and on the dies. Here comes our horse fish or sea fish with the shaving cream on here and the little fish. And here's the purple one right there. And these are all the ones that I did the other day with the stencils, with the masks, the decorative masks that turned out really, really good. I think I like, I'm like, whoa, these are pretty, right? When you make something and you know it's pretty, you're like, whoa, look what I made. <laughs> That's the way I am. Whoa, look at this. So there we go. Now I have a ton of beautiful mail to share with you guys. And I understand if it is time for you to go to bed, because I know some places of the world, this is pretty late, but I'm going to share my mail and you can always come back in and watch it tomorrow. You can fast forward, right? When you watch it and it's not live, you can fast forward to where you need to go. So here comes the mail. Hang on. I have gifts. I've got gifts in between all of this. Oh my gosh, this, you guys, is so pretty. This came to me from one of my team members, Jody Peterson. And look at all this. This is just incredibly, it's like a little pouch with a little pocket in the front. She's got a little calendar that's an easel with some post-it notes in it. Oh my good Lord, right? Little tear-off calendar. I love this. Then I've got a candy cane and a little holder with the designer paper. Look at this little thing, this little tag. I think that's adorable. Ooh, ooh, Christmas candy hearts. Does this open? How does this open? Because we need some of those. I'm hungry. Mm, Jody, you know these are my favorite. <laughs> candy corn. Super cute. Oh, this beautiful card. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, 
and a good Ghirardelli. A little candy cane Ghirardelli in there. This is super sweet. Jody, thank you so much. I'm going to keep these things out because I want to eat them. <laughs> thank you so much. This is just beautiful. All right, next up, we have this beautiful card. Gorgeous, gorgeous from Cynthia Shawl. Very, very pretty, Cynthia. Thank you so much. I love the silver glimmer on there. Here comes Luba. Luba. This is beautiful. Look at all those rhinestones. Then there's some silver, um, some of our iridescent dots, too. Super, super pretty, right? Mm, beautiful. Shannon West sent me this card. She's with Stampin' Up. And... What a year. Congrats on placing so high in all four Cap Achiever categories. You are amazing. Thank you, Shannon. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, this was in my bag. This was in my bag with my stuff from... Oh, this was came with my swaps. We had a team swap. We do that every month in my team. And this came from Lisa. Neilan. She said, just a note to say, thank you for all you do. You're an inspiration. Isn't this pretty? This is our new Daffodil Afternoon paper. Beautiful. Thank you, Lisa. This is from my sister-in-law, Pam. Look at how pretty that is. She is a crazy scrapbooker stamper. She does beautiful, beautiful work. Slimline card. Oh, there she is with her beautiful family. I love getting cards from her. This is all embossed and colored in. So pretty. Okay. This is from my friend Lynn in Australia. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. I'm always excited to get mail from Lynn. Check this out. She's, like I said, from Australia. These are koalas, not koala bears, because they're marsupials, and you're not allowed to call them bears. But she made this. Do you guys recognize how old this designer paper is from Stampin' Up? It's Stampin' Up paper, but it's really, really old. Yeah, Sherry says your sister-in-law is very artistic. She is very talented. Check this out. It's a sweater with arms to give you a hug. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Oh, my good Lord. Love, love, love it. So cool. Lynn gave me this little book about koala karma. And each page is a little bit different. Three things in life are important. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. And the third is to be kind. Isn't that the truth? Karma and shadows follow one everywhere. Be kind to all, including yourself. Compassion and kindness are top quality. <laughs> Even when our sleeves brush together, it is our karma. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. Laziness is important. Know when to let yourself rest so you can always be your best. Leave a good impression on everyone you meet. <laughs> Kindness in words creates confidence. Kindness in thinking creates profoundness. Kindness in giving creates love. A good deed is never lost. No one is useless in this world who lightens the burdens of another. Be supportive. While you live, while it is in your power, be good. Be mindful. Take things slow. Be true to who and what you are. Look how cute he is. Oh, there's some more. Hang on. Koala Karma. To do good is noble. To tell others to do good is even nobler and much less trouble. <laughs> Our purpose here is to observe, to learn, to grow, to love, and then we return home. Slow down and appreciate life. Isn't this cute? We're back to be kind. I read through this and I just thought, oh, isn't this the truth? Maybe that's why I didn't yell at the guy at the Ford garage. Like, that would have probably wrecked his day if I would have got real snotty with him. You know what I mean? I don't like to do that. You, you always need to kind of think of those things. <gasps> and then look at this koala. Look at, it's that, um, what do you call that? You know where it does crazy things? What is that called, you guys? So cool. It's a bookmark. I couldn't almost wait to use this, but I didn't want to take it out of the stuff because then it would get lost, right? And I wanted to show everybody. Yeah, it's that funny that it looks like it's real, like you could touch it. Yeah. 
Okay, hang tight. Oh, this is my letter from Lynn. I can't lose that. We have, here comes another card. Oh, isn't that beautiful? This is from Robin Sutherland for the wonderful gifts. Oh, she won. Dress to impress, which is really fun. Here comes from Sherry Pyre. Beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, note of thanks for the Stamp of Palooza retreat. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. This is from Cherry Pyre. Okay, hang on. Um, I have more gifts. This is so funny. This came from Sharon Kersey. And Sharon is the one who always makes me a card that matches a little towel, if you guys recall. Look at this. Isn't this the coolest thing ever? Oh my goodness, this is in a this is a stamp set, the annual catalog. And it says, I can't begin to count all the times we've laughed together, mostly because numbers are hard. <laughs> and they are. Anyways, so there's um like this big running joke that Steve wrecks all my kitchen tells, right? Because men just like wreck things. And she says, My latest card and towel endeavor was a hard match this time but I love this piecing technique and she did she die cut and these are all pieced back in here it says I figured Steve was in need of a new kitchen towel because <laughs> he ruins all the rest of them look at this is a really nice towel too way to go Sharon thank you so much I absolutely adore this you are so sweet okay now hang tight I have oh this came this is from Things are coming apart here. Let me put this back together. It snaps right in here. Come on, you little bird. Look at it. It's coasters. It's coasters with my logo on it. Is that like so cool? Ah! Oh my gosh. I like opened this. I showed it to Steve and he immediately said, those go right in the living room. I said, not until I show my people. Yeah, so here's the little here's the little card. Yep, this is from Terry. Terry, these are adorable. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Hope you like them. I love them. That's me. <laughs> now, Terry got these made at the Country Cardinal. And here's the information. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. So these are so cool. I got to keep these right here so I can take them downstairs and put them right in the living room as ordered. I don't know who he thought he was talking to ordering me around. Here comes some more. I got this from Lisa Nealon. If hunting is wrong, I don't want to be right. And I showed Steve this tonight and he goes, give me that. I'll put it right out in the garage. I said, nope, not until I show my people. And I think this is staying right in my office. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Lisa also gave me this glitter mini vacuum cleaner. <gasps> this goes around and vacuums your floor. And I think it's like one of those Zumbas, only it's really little. Well, I'll have to show you that another time when I can get it open. But I'm going to give her a whirl. Lisa said it works really good. And then I got this beautiful card. Isn't this just the cutest? Hang on, let me see if I can figure out how to open it. Look at that little baking rack. I love this. It says, wishing you a sweet season. Hugs from Lisa. Okay, so that was, oh, yep. That was from Lisa Nealon. Lisa is a member of my team. Lisa, thank you very much. Here comes, oh my gosh, this was so fun to open today. This beautiful card, look at how beautiful this is. Tis the season to be freezing. And this is from Sarah Thibodeau. Sarah, I hope I say your name right. But if I don't, I like the way I say it. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Ah! Do you guys, when you were kids, did you like take a bite out of all of these and put it back if you didn't like it? Do you remember doing that? Oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to eat that one. Hang on. Mmm. Oh, this looks delightful. I love this stuff. Oops, let me put this back in here. So this is from Sarah. She really spoiled me. Here comes some more. Are you ready for this? <gasps> Look at the tumbler. Oops, you got a 
stainless steel straw with a brush cleaner. Look at that. This goes so well with my unicorn poop popper. And also this little guy, right? Isn't that cute? <laughs> so cool, Sarah, so cool. Now hang on, I gotta put this stuff back in here. I gotta take this downstairs and wash it so I can use it. I don't know, Molly might steal this from me. It's possible. She really likes unicorns. And, ooh, look at this little deal. We got some hand cream and some nail files. This is really pretty, very pretty. Always a necessity, right? Whoops, hang on. This is the little thing she made me. I was like, oh, this is so cute. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And we've got all kinds of Ghirardellis and chocolate from Starbucks. I first saw that and I thought, oh, coffee, I'll give that to Steve, but it's hot chocolate, yay! I love hot chocolate. I just bought some of the spray can whipped cream to put on top of hot chocolate because it is the season, right? And then this guy, super, super cute little gnome ornament. I love him. And I think I'm gonna hang him right up here so that I can look at him. <laughs> oh, and hang tight, this was funny. I went downstairs and showed this to Steve. I am not a craft hoarder. I am the curator of an extensive craft supply collection. Boom. He calls me a hoarder. And then he says, just because you don't have dead animals under your stuff doesn't mean you're not a hoarder. <laughs> and we laugh and laugh. Sarah, thank you so much. So, so pretty. Here, I think this is my last package. This is from um, Priscilla. And I don't know how to say Priscilla's last name. Sichuan, maybe? She's from California. Look what she made me. Can you guys, like, holy cannoli. This is flipping amazing. It's a little sampler that I will definitely be displaying every holiday season. Yeah. These are the kind of things that Anna loves when I make her something like this. They are very, very... They're timeless, right? And one of the things that I like to do when I make these for my for my kids is I will take one square and I'll put a family photo or their kid's picture in there in black and white or sometimes colored. But and every year they get it out and they're like, oh, look when so-and-so is so little or whatever. So, so pretty. Thank you so much, Priscilla. That is just so sweet. And it doesn't stop there. We have, oh, this is from, hang on, that's from someone else. Look at this amazing card. Oops, hang on, the belly band. Okay, so we have a belly band, right? And then it goes like this, and it goes like this, and it goes like this. Holy cow, is that not the coolest? Yeah, so Priscilla has been um, stamping with me, following me for a long time, and she is going to be joining my team in January, and I can't hardly wait. She's excited. I'm excited. It's exciting. And then look at these. Oh my goodness. These are so fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy. Oh, thick and fluffy and gorgeous. Who needs to knit their own socks? <laughs> and then the frosted cranberry from Bath and Body. Oh my gosh, that does smell good. She told me it was her favorite scent. You guys, way, way too much. Spoiled, spoiled. I am so spoiled. Okay, let me see. What else do I have? Let's, do we have a little bit of time? Let me move some of this. I've got such a mess here, I can't even tell you. We've got... I'm going to go through some of the cards, and then we'll get to the rest of the cards, okay? We'll, we'll keep doing them until we get through all of them. Oops, i got to put this back with that. Look at this. That's from Christine Bertram. Thank you so much, Christine. Then we have Cheryl Thomas. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, so pretty. Oh, this is vellum. I was like, what are those trees made of? They're made of the vellum cardstock. So pretty. This is like a book binding from Cheryl. She's on my team. Christine's on my team. Here comes Jay Shante. Oh, so pretty, Jay. Jay is also on my team. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Love that. Then we have Nancy Delaview. Look at how pretty that is. 
So, so pretty. Love that log cabin. Thank you, Nancy. Comes Terry Mullinex. Isn't this pretty? Look how pretty this is. Terry's also on my team. So pretty. I love this. Um, hang on. Oh, poor. What? Look at this. Bobby Hudson. This is how yours arrived. It must have gotten stuck in a machine. But look at how pretty that is. So pretty. One of our little note cards. Thank you so much. Next, Cynthia Watasek. <gasps> this is one of the layouts we did. Woohoo! Love that. Beautiful, beautiful card. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you so much, Cynthia. And we have Judy Dempton. I know Judy's on here tonight. Look at how pretty this is. I love when the designer paper does most of the work. I just love that. Yay! Thank you, Judy. Very pretty. Then we have a Christmas card with the Eden's Garden paper. This is really cool. This is from Sue Harvey. Isn't that beautiful? Love this. Gorgeous card. This is from Kay Nestor. She's also one of my team members. Beautiful, beautiful. She's got some shimmer spray on there too. So pretty. Gorgeous. Here's Debbie Spicer. Oh my gosh, this one. What? Are you guys ready for this? <gasps> Debbie, look at that. Who wants to learn how to make this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I do. Oh, so cool, right? <gasps> yeah. Oh, Sarah has to run. Get your kids ready for school. Merry Christmas to you too, Sarah. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, then we have Stephen Patty Wayanecki from Princeton. Isn't that beautiful? I love this. Very, very pretty. So sweet. I had so much fun opening up all these cards. There were a lot of them waiting for me when I got home from Wyoming. So I just spent about, I don't know, about 45 minutes opening and reading. It was so cool. Oh, I'm holding them too high. I'm so sorry, Dolly. Thank you so much for telling me that. Er, so sorry. But isn't this just the cutest? This is from Kate and Larry. Kate always spells her name. K8. <laughs> Kate. And their um, Sicard, I'm sorry, from Nina. Here comes. Hang on. Uh, uh, uh. Lynn Ingram. Isn't that pretty? I love that penguin. Super, super cute. Make sure I've got this in my camera. Adorable. Comes another one. We've got, oops, hang on. This is from Linda Morrison. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, that paper's so pretty, isn't it? Oh, she colored it too. Gorgeous. Thank you so much. Oh, we're done with that one. Here comes another one. Oh, cute little snowman. I love this set. This is from Maureen Wheatley. Maureen, I'm so happy to see that you're stamping. Yay. Diana Lobs. Look how pretty this is. Oh, so pretty. Love that. Very, very pretty. Thank you, Diana. Elaine Rebeck. We got some gingerbread houses. Yay. Very pretty, Elaine. Thank you. Who's getting sick of me now? <laughs> oh, this is from Mike and Vicky. Look at how pretty that is. What a great idea to make those hills behind there. Super, super pretty. Thank you. Here comes Cynthia Jacobson. Oops, hang on. I can figure it out. I make cards for a living. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, um, Terry just popped me an email about my coasters and she thought that the, um, the, um, the holder is falling apart. I think it's supposed to come apart. It just like hooks in there, Terry. I think it's fine. It'll, cause it'll stay, and I can put some super glue on it if I don't want it to, but I love these. They are super awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Cynthia Jacobson, look how pretty that is. Another book binding. I like that. Very, very pretty. Then 
We have Kimberly Milan. Look at this. Milan. I'm sorry, not Milan. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at her handwriting, too. Woo. Pretty, pretty special. Next up, Mary Swanson. Oh, Mary. This is that... Um, Oh, what's it called? That acetate paper, the mercury glass, mercury glass. There you go. Woo. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is. From Mary Swanson. Gorgeous. Next up, Anna Ribadu. Look at how pretty. I loved this paper. Like, loved it. So pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous card, Anna. Thank you so much. Yep, I'm sorry. Thank you. I know I'm I'm covering them up. Create on the front. Hang on, I'm reading my comments. You covered up one by your left arm that says create on the front. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. I will get that out. Thank you. I did forget about it. Look at how cute this is. Little tag. And this is a... Oh, hang on. I didn't open this yet. I'm not sure what it is. I wanted to save it and let it be all pretty for when I showed it to you guys. Here we go. This is from my team leader, Ann Huebner. This is... Oh, look it. It's a little pop-up to keep all your tools in. Sending a fun pouch for your crafting fun. Pull the top and fill your favorite. Oh, look at this. Yeah. I think it does it do something. Oh. Oh, I know. You pull it up like this. Huh. Wasn't that interesting? And then you can put all your stuff in there. Or you can keep it pushed down. Just like that. That's so cool. Or it can be a can cooler too, I suppose. Very cool. This is from my team leader Ann Hebner. And this is her beautiful growing family. She's got a grandbaby, too, about the same age as Val. So that's cool. Thank you so much, Anne. And then we have, look at this beautiful card. This is from Linda Lewis. Gorgeous. Very, very pretty. I love those colors. This is from Jim and Cindy Ellers. Isn't that pretty? Cindy's my friend from over by my mom's house. Gorgeous. And look how pretty the, oh, this is a fancy one. This is from my friend Denise and her husband, Russ. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. So pretty. Love it. Very pretty. Here comes another one. This is from Pam Taylor. Whoops. This is a slim line. Hang on. Isn't that gorgeous? I love these. Look at how pretty that is. Way to go. Thank you, Pam. Oh, I'm holding it up a little too high again. Sorry. I don't usually, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Look at how pretty this is. This is a big card. Isn't that neat? This is from Jamie Lency. Absolutely love this. I can see the Wink of Stella on the little berries too. Thank you, Jamie. Then we got Mary Lynn Weller. Look at this old paper. She told me all about it in her card too saying how old the things were. This is all stamping up, but it's just old. <laughs> Thanks, Mary Lynn. This is from Dee Dee Tibke. Look at how gorgeous this is. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that cabin. Yay. Very, very pretty. Oh, I'm holding it too far up again, aren't I? I'm sorry. That's hard. Here we go. This one, oh, this is so pretty. This is from Barbara Yeager. Look at how gorgeous that is. Ah, so pretty. Thank you, Barbara. I am going to get through all these Christmas cards. <laughs> this is from Mary Thiel. Oh, I love this card. I love this layout, Mary. It's just really pretty. Way to go. Very, very nice. Here comes another one. This is from Bev Shepke. Very pretty. I like these little embossed ornaments. Gorgeous. 
And Mickey Banky is up next. Mickey, so pretty. Oops, hang on. Let's see if I can open the card. There we go. <gasps> so, so pretty. Way to go, Mickey. This is gorgeous. I love this. I love that bobble set, too. Oops, we've got our mountain. This is from Sue Loring. Yay, Sue. Look at how cool this is. Look, see how it goes like that here? And then look at here. Isn't that neat? Very pretty. I love this paper. Thank you, Sue. Then we have Gloria Shermo. Love your card, Gloria. Thank you so much. It's so pretty. Beautiful. Kathy Miller. Look at how pretty this is. Ready for this, you guys? It's... I can't remember what they call this, but it's like it's like a bay window card. Yep, that's it. Bay window. It kind of tucks in right here. Look at how pretty that is. Kathy is also she is my one of my helpers, and she's on my team. And she's actually the longest. She's been on my team longer than anybody else. She like was my first, very first team member to join my team. Seventeen, almost eighteen years ago. Thank you, Kathy. Next, we have Judy Brown. Judy, your card is so pretty. Thank you so much. I love this. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful. And Karen Nevin. Look how pretty this is. Beautiful. And a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Then we have Janet Whalen. Look at this is a little shaker, you guys. Can you see the little the little sequence floating around under the plastic sleeve? Super, super cute. Janet, love it. Thank you so much. Absolutely adorable. Linda Smith. Linda Smith. Merry Christmas. This is beautiful. I like this. I like this. Point set is the little wreath. Very, very pretty. Sharon Taylor, gorgeous. Oops, here we go. So pretty, right? Yay! And Gwen Bell. Oh, I'm sorry, Gwen Ball, not Bell. A little thank you. Yeah, so pretty. She ordered one of the bow jigs from me. Love your card. Thank you so much, Gwen. All right, you guys, look. It's empty. We did it. We did it as a team. <laughs> I gotta go through all these and put all this stuff away. Holy cow. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me till the end. I hope that you have the most wonderful holiday season, no matter what you're doing. Um, watch the Christmas movies, eat the Christmas candy, eat the Christmas cookies, visit with the family, have a great time, enjoy yourself. I'm just grateful I get to survive another Christmas and um, we're going to be having our kids Christmas over at Anna's house on the 23rd and then on Christmas Eve we're going to drive over to my mom's house and like I said I'll be there till Tuesday so I won't be live next Sunday um, but I will be back on the 28th and we have bingo on the 29th. So don't forget about that, that you can still register for bingo if you're interested. It's a lot of fun. Give it a try. Um, let me know if you guys need anything. I'm always so happy to help you. And thanks for being part of my little world. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye-bye.